Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Good job. All right, we're back, uh, back in the garage again. Today is Monday, I think, and um, that doesn't really matter at all. Well, it's actually a holiday right now, so uh, Dad's actually here, and we're both working in the garage. He's working on another flapper on. There he is right now. He's got the, 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 the go juice. And yeah, go that's right. And um, what I'm gonna do right now, um, this it's not really that interesting, I think, but what I'm gonna do is one of the hardest things, which is actually to follow my own advice. And I am going to start doing all the little things that need to be done to actually start doing the big things to getting this engine ready to go, to ultimately test run. Um, so I'm gonna be doing stuff like getting the oil cooler mounting kit, locating that, probably installing the mounts. Uh, I'm gonna mark out the spot on the exhaust tubes where to put the um, exhaust gas temperature sensors because um, I don't have them yet, so I can't put them in, but I can mark it and get it ready for when I do get them. I can install some of the oil cooler stuff, but unfortunately, like I think I mentioned in another video, this I bought this oil cooler and I didn't realize that it was not the right one. I bought this off of Wix, uh, Wix Aircraft because this was like the only one that they had and I just didn't think about it. And so this is, uh, I think it's too small, uh, or at least definitely smaller than what's like recommended. So that's just kind of what I'm going to be doing today is just uh, kind of just a bunch of little things and probably uh, helping with the uh, flapper ons to actually fold the metal over. So. That's what we got. Okay. Hey dad, I'm gonna be talking to myself, okay. just so you know, so you don't think I'm talking to you. Okay. Well, I guess I won't be talking to myself. I guess I'll be talking to the people on YouTube. Okay, so here's a, um, this is the oil filter adapter thingy. And so, like, I don't know why they, I mean, it's for the oil cooler, but it's like, why didn't they just install it? I don't know, I'm, I'm not really sure. Doesn't matter. Point is, we need to install this. So what we're gonna do, is take out the oil filter. We had to get like an oil filter wrench on here to loosen it. But we got it to where we can just take it off by hand now. Oh shoot, I'm dripping a lot of oil. See, in the manual, let's see. In the manual, it shows it going up like that. But I think to get our lines to fit better, Zenith, Zenith says to point it down. So we'll just screw this in here. There we go. Now I'm gonna actually leave it loose because uh, 
because I don't have the oil filter yet to actually hook up the lines. And so I wanna have some play so I can get the lines in there. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it loose for now. And then when I get the oil cooler, I will torque it down to the proper torque. Okay, next we've got these mounts. These are the oil cooler bracket mounts, or just brackets, I suppose. Oh, these are bare steel. I think, I'll, I think I'll paint these, actually. I'm gonna degrease them and then paint them. But anyway, these are gonna go right like this and like this. These bolts that we that were used to mount the engine shipping plate thing, they just go right in there. And that goes in there. Cool. And I'll put some uh, medium strength thread locker on these. to me since I don't have the oil cooler now I'm, I can't tighten these down because I got to make sure they're lined up correctly but I can set them in for now and actually hey here's an idea so before I actually put those in I can take these guys these little uh, these little vibration dampeners and I can attach them how about that Aha! Aha! It's metric. Oh yeah, that's what's interesting is that because one of them points, because these are not symmetrical, because this one, the tube is on the outside of the L, and this one, the tube is on the inside of the L, which is strange. I'm going to get this little guy. Now this one, the circular part is over top of the L, so we kind of have to have to get a wrench in there because we can't get a socket head on there. There we go. That seems. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I didn't think that through. I could just go on like that. It's fine. Oh shoot, because <laughs> the other thing is I can't, this is a ratcheting wrench, oh dang it, okay. Alright, well this is why you always have more than one wrench. Oh, but this is metric. No, I'll use a midget wrench. Mm, I guess that's why you should have more than one metric wrench also. Okay, I learned my lesson. I think. Okay, cool. So now these are ready to mount. But uh, I still can't actually mount these yet until I get the oil cooler. Cool. Oh, and then these things go on here somewhere. <laughs> 